guys. This is Lizzie from What Lizzie Presents. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So, yeah, it's a different view of what you're used to because today I am actually making something for an art challenge. It be, it's from uh, Dina Tollefson and I've done them before. And the one from now, it's been a little while. The one from now is on snow. So I figured that I would do a paint pour, which I haven't done in a really long time. Um, I gotta put something underneath here. Um, and my theme is snowflake. So, yeah, I don't have a lazy Susan and all that good stuff. So I am going to use a couple of cracker cans to put underneath my canvas. It works as long as it works it works for me you know what I mean and here okay Put it there so the paint doesn't go onto the floor and put on my gloves I have my my paints already pre-mixed So I have to pour them. And I thought I had cups. I had no cups. I'm talking to Anthony on the phone. I go, we have no cups. And he says, so what are you going to do? And I'm like, I'm going to improvise. So I cut some water bottles. And that is what I'm going to use. Water bottles. And I hope that what I have in my in mind turns out. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you have a vision and it doesn't always pan out. So need that there because that's for the edges so let me start here and some gold and some aquamarine Again. Here. I usually wind up with like maybe 12 ounces or so. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Kind of like a uh, a surprise package that you might get from a candy store or something, right? Well, that's what this is going to be. It's going to be a surprise. So we will see. And I'm going to start it off right here. <sighs> Let's 
see how this works. of the snowflake yes it covered the whole snowflake okay now usually I would like tap it on the edges but I have something else that goes here. This is all trial and error, guys. So we'll see how this pans out. Okay. And I don't have my pokey tool. So, let me look for a plastic fork so I can lift the snowflake and drop it right there. how this pans out. I have not done a paint pour in so long. It is so satisfying just seeing the paint drip off the ends like that. think I'm going to add one of those little snowflakes actually I'm going to incorporate it into the painting itself Like I said, you know, it's trial and error. Let it drip down a little bit into there.
Okay, let me change these gloves. I don't want to get that heavy color where I don't want it. Okay. And let me turn her around. Put them over here. And this way. It's got some pretty cells to it, I'll tell you that much. over. I'm liking it. This needs a little bit more to run on this side. job. Good job. Nice. Now I have my glitter because I wanted to sprinkle some glitter. Make it shimmer. All right, so I have some um, really fine glitter here, and when it dries, it's going to be shimmery. And then I have some blue. This one, really pretty. I'm going to sprinkle some around on the white areas. Make it look like snow. Right? Isn't that pretty pretty? And I think that looks amazing. I didn't bring the snowflake. So let me try and pause you a second and go get it. Okay. So I got the snowflake that I forgot to bring over. See, this is it. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to put it off to the side and let it dry within the painting like that. So we will definitely see how this turns out and I will put a finished picture of it in my Instagram and I'll leave a link to it in my description box so you guys can check it out so I will leave Dina's link to her channel in my description box. And guys, this is what I came up with. 
So it's not without trial and error, right? But I think that it actually looks kind of pretty. Yep, I do. All right, guys. So until the next time, and Dina, thank you so much again for hosting this fun art challenge. Bye, guys. Have a blessed and beautiful day.